So today we are going to be ranking all of the assault rifles and the only SMG in Helldivers 2 from worst to best to help a lot of you new players decide which guns you should use and which guns you should stay away from. So the very first gun we have on this list is the standard AR-23 Liberator. Now this gun, you get this gun for free. Um, this is the gun they give to every new Helldiver when they first start playing the game. What I'm going to go ahead and tell you off the rip if you're a new player, all the Liberators fly through ammo extremely fast. Now this particular Liberator is what, this is why it's at the bottom. This is why this gun's at the bottom. This gun only has seven magazines. Every other Liberator you can carry 10 magazines. So that's a big, big plus. You know what I'm saying? It's a big upside when we're going against hordes of enemies. You know what I'm saying? In a survival game like this, where you have to limit your ammo, you have to make sure every shot counts. You want to have as many mag magazines as you can possibly carry. So this that's why this gun is at the bottom. If it carried 10 magazines, it would be maybe one more up. Because it's a good gun. It does 55 damage per shot. That's higher than another gun I have ranked over this gun. But like I said, you only have seven magazines, so that's less ammo. And from what I've noticed, it's best to single tap this weapon, especially if you're trying to conserve ammo. Single tap this weapon, personally. Unless you get in a situation where you have to spray and pray, then, you know what I'm saying, let it rip. But personally, I like to single tap this weapon, and I conserve a lot of ammunition that way. Um, but overall, this gun is decent. I have it ranked last on the list. It ain't nothing special about this gun. It's just a regular assault rifle. You know what I'm saying? Certain situations, it can work pretty good, but once you start moving up and higher, higher difficulties on this game, you will realize that you need to use one of the other options I have on this list. So the next gun we have on this list is the AR-23C Liberator Concussor. This weapon costs 20 medals from the Steel Veterans Premium War Bond. It's advertised as being an explosive weapon, but really the explosive damage is really more like a stun. It's not explosive at all. It's more of a stun. But one thing I can definitely say about this gun that it does very well is pushing enemies off of you. So whenever you're getting overrun by warriors or you're getting overrun by brood commanders, this gun can really come in clutch. It does it does that stun effect very, very well because it'll push a brood commander back about five feet. You know what I'm saying? That's a big enemy coming at you, especially when they start running at you. You know what I'm saying? It'll push them back about five feet. So in certain situations, you, you might like this gun. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a hit or miss. It's a hit or miss, man. Do you like it or do you not? You know what I'm saying? Personally, I feel like it's decent. Uh, it, it definitely needs a buff in the future. Once they buff it, more people will definitely start using this gun. But as of right now, it's still better options to use than this. Moving on to the next gun. Now, this is going to be the first gun I classify as actually being good. So we have the AR-23P Liberator Penetrator. Now, this gun right here is the only assault rifle that actually has medium armor piercing. Now, that is very, very valuable in this game, especially when you have the automatons. A lot of their forces have armor. And you also start to encounter a lot of more heavily armored bugs when you start moving up in higher difficulties. The hive guards and the bio spewers all have armor on their heads. So you need something that hits a little bit harder, man. This gun, this penetrator right here, this gun is the gun you want to have um, if you're going to be using an assault rifle, that is. You want to have the penetrator. It's the best assault rifle in this in the whole game. Best assault rifle, hands down. It's 40 medals in the Helldivers Mobilized War Bond. This weapon only does 45 damage per shot, but these shots are going through skulls and making this weapon extremely, extremely deadly against the bugs and against the bots. So with that being said, if you do have 40 medals laying around, you definitely want to go ahead and pick up this weapon. It is a very, very good choice to have in your arsenal. Technically, the Penetrator is holding the number one spot, in my opinion, for the assault rifles. But I have another gun on this list that may be a good alternative for people that don't want to use the lower tier Liberators. They want to use something else. You might want to try out the SMG 37 Defender. Now, personally, I have this gun at number one on this list. Now, it does not have medium armor penetrating like the Liberator Penetrator, but this gun does 70 damage per shot and it has great mobility with it being a one-handed weapon. So you can run and shoot behind you. You don't have to slow down and stop and you don't, you don't have to do all that. You can run and shoot with this gun. Now I'm level 50 and I got everything unlocked in this game and I've still resort to using the Defender when I play Hell Dive or when I'm playing on any high difficulty against the bugs or the bots. It's a great option. It holds up against any enemy, man. It's very, very slept on. Um, definitely got to try it out if you haven't, but it's not the only SMG in the game, but the other SMG I do not have 
unlocked. It is the MP98 Knight. Um, you only get it from the pre-order bonus. Uh, but I did not pre-order this game. I bought it um way after it came out. So, yeah, man. If you do happen to have the MP98 Knight unlocked from the pre-order, man, let me know how that gun holds up, man. Is it a good gun or is it a bad gun? Because I would I would love to try it out, but like I said, I don't have it, man. I didn't pre-order this game. Um, but yeah, the Defender SMG is definitely a good way to go. I feel like it's better than all the Liberators. Now, obviously, you're not going to use this weapon against Hive Guards or Bio Spewers because it doesn't have medium armor penetration. Um, but it holds up in every other aspect when you're going against the lower tier non-armored enemies. And there's only 15 medals in the Helldivers mobilized warbind. So it's very, very reasonable to unlock. Like, it's not expensive. You know what I'm saying? 15 medals, that ain't nothing. That's just a couple games. But I hope that y'all learn something new in this video. Now, this is my personal list. So don't get your feelings but hurt if your gun was like lower than you would like. You know what I'm saying? On the list out of these four weapons. Don't get your feelings hurt. This is just my personal list. But anyway, I hope y'all learned something new. Make sure you drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. And I'm out, bro.